Hello, uh, welcome to um, Money with Mark Albert. So glad you're with me today. Uh, today what I want to do is I want to talk about what happened this week, uh, this last couple days, where today and yesterday Donald Trump sent some tweets. And uh, what I want to do is I want to talk about how, what the plan based on those treats on tariffs with China are going to have a direct impact to us in Canada and concerning the Bank of Canada's interest rate and whether they will or will not increase it, they may even decrease it. And what I want you to know is the Bank of Canada, they've got interest rates. They've got five more interest rate announcements this year. They've got May, July, September, October, December. And I'm going to be doing uh, an announcement on each of those. And so if that's something that's of interest to you, please subscribe to this channel. Click the bell for notifications for that. But what I want to do here is not make a statement concerning Donald Trump, but just to identify what his um, uh, tweets were and what I think the impact is going to be economically, globally, as well as within uh, Canada. All right. So uh, in terms of there's a, there's a trade war going on between the U.S. and, and China. All right. And so this is what happened yesterday, May the 5th, 2019. Donald Trump sent this tweet out. He said, for 10 months, China has been paying tariffs to the USA of 25% on $50 billion of high tech. Then he says, and of 10% of $200 billion of other goods. These payments are partially responsible for our great economic results. So he's saying that these tariffs that they're charging China are having a positive impact on their economic results in the U.S. And then he goes, the 10% will go up 25% on Friday. Then he says, uh, 325 billion dollars. So, making a big point there. Now this has an impact. All right. Now he sent another tweet today. That was yesterday. So today he says. The United States has been losing, for many years, $600 to $800 billion a year on trade. With China, we lose, he says, $500 billion. Sorry, we're not going to, uh, to be doing that anymore. So he makes a statement, and he likes to do it on Twitter, which is unique in terms of U.S. presidents. However... What I want to talk about is the Bank of Canada. The Bank of Canada, they have rate announcements, and they said, if you go back, and there'll be a link below in, uh, in the notes below here of this video, uh, of, of the last five Bank of Canada rate announcements that I did videos on. But the last one, which was October 24, they mentioned to us what they're going to be looking for in the future in terms of whether they increase or decrease the rate or maintain the rate. So these are... Three things you're going to be looking for, and I'm going to show you how what Trump's doing on tariffs and how that may impact the global economy may impact what the Bank of Canada do, and I'll, I'll give my opinion on that. So the first thing the Bank of Canada said is they're going to be looking at household spending in Canada and how that develops. Okay, Right now, the real estate market, they're saying but things have slowed down, you know, it hasn't picked up. The economy is fairly stalled. They said in the second quarter this year, it's going to be picking up. And the third quarter is really going to be growing more. And then the second half of the year is going to be pr pretty good. And I think the real estate as well, they said that probably be picking up too. However, they also said they're going to be looking at the Canadian oil market and the global oil market. So right now, we know that Canada's having a hard time pushing oil out globally. They're having a hard time with our cost of oil, selling it on the market, but actually getting it to the market. Can't build pipelines. Investment in Canada feels fairly stalled on the uh, energy sector. So they're going to be looking at that. So there's a third thing, and this is the big one. All right, They're going to look at global trade policy. So right now, what the governor of the Bank of Canada said on uh, April 24, he talked about how Canada, the economy is fairly stalled right now. And he said there's, a, there's like 47 other countries in the world in a similar situation as Canada, like the same situation. So globally, there's a sense of uneasiness. There's multiple trade issues and conflicts going on in the world, the biggest of which is China and the U.S. And so with the U.S. saying we're going to charge you more tariffs and China have a response to that, which is not like, yay, hey, yahoo, but it's not, it's not a positive response. This may create more uncertainty in the global economy, 
which may have a more negative impact on consumer spending and global uh, economic investment, which will have a direct impact on the Canadian economy and the Bank of Canada's ability to increase rates. So they'll either, in the next five rate announcements this year, most likely will either maintain or even decrease, depending on how bad things get. These are just some of my thoughts. I'd be curious to know, especially if some of you have an economic uh, thought process of cause and effect relationships out there. Comment below so that it stimulates more discussion. Thanks for being with me. Have a wonderful day. And these are just some of my ideas. We'll talk to you later. Bye now.